Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of custom ROMs, specifically taking a comprehensive look at the brand new Derpfest and Roid 15 ROM tailored for our beloved Redmi Note 7 Pro. We know many of you in the community are always eager to try out the latest Android features and Derpfest is promising just that, based on the very recent March 2025 security patch. So, we've flashed it, we've played with it, and now we're ready to share our detailed experience. Let's not waste any time and jump right in to see what Derpfest brings to the table on this still-capable device. Alright. First things first, let's explore the network and internet settings. Now, while these might seem basic, Derpfest throws in a little touch of customization here. If we head into the Wi-Fi section, you'll notice an option to set a custom Wi-Fi icon. It's a small visual tweak, but you can actually personalize the way your Wi-Fi signal indicator looks. You even get the choice of a single icon style, which simplifies the appearance. It's these little aesthetic choices that can really make a ROM feel unique. Now, let's talk about private DNS. This is a feature that's become increasingly important for online privacy. Derpfest adds a very thoughtful option here. Disable for VPN. For those of you who frequently use VPNs, this is a game changer. Okay. Now let's dive into the display settings because this is where Android 15 and Derpfest really start to shine with customization. Right at the top, you'll find the Monet theming engine. This is a core Android feature that dynamically generates a color palette for your entire system UI based on your wallpaper. It's a fantastic way to have a cohesive and personalized look. Scrolling down, we find the display cutout settings. For devices with a notch like the Redmi Note 7 Pro, this is important. You have the standard device default option, but you can also configure full screen apps individually. If you encounter any apps that don't play nicely with the notch, you can even force apps to ignore notch space, ensuring they display correctly within the safe area of the screen. Now, let's move on to the sound settings and explore the audio-related features Derpfest offers. Right off the bat, we have the Pulse Visualizer. This is a really cool addition. When you enable Pulse, it provides an audio visualizer for the navigation bar, lock screen, and ambient screen. This means that when you're playing music or any audio, you'll see a visual representation of the sound waves dancing on different parts of your screen. It's a fun and unique way to experience your audio. We've thoroughly tested both the fingerprint sensor and the face unlock option on this Derpfest ROM, and I'm pleased to report that it is working without any issues whatsoever. Battery life is always a crucial factor for any smartphone user. During my testing with typical daily usage, which included browse, social media, some light gaming, and watching videos, I consistently managed to get around six to six and a half hours of screen on time on a single charge. To get a more quantitative measure of performance, we put the Derpfest ROM through the paces of the Geekbench 6 benchmark. The Redmi Note 7 Pro running this ROM achieved a single-core score of 668 and a multi-core score of 1457. These scores give us a good indication of the processing power of the device under this particular ROM. For those of you who rely on apps that require a certain level of device integrity, such as banking apps and some streaming services, the safety net status is important. We've checked the safety net attestation on this Derpfest ROM, and I can confirm that it passes both the device integrity and basic integrity checks without requiring root access. This means you should be able to use most of your essential apps without encountering any compatibility issues related to safety net. When it comes to the camera, this Derpfest ROM conveniently comes with the stock MUI camera application pre-installed. Alright, so after spending a good amount of time with the Derpfest and Roid 15 ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we've seen a lot of interesting features and customization options. However, despite all these positives, there's one significant drawback that we simply can't ignore. 
During our testing, we consistently experienced noticeable lag and occasional stutters throughout the user interface. This was evident in everyday tasks like scrolling through menus, opening and switching between apps, and even typing. While the benchmark scores might suggest decent performance, the real-world experience felt sluggish at times. Therefore, despite the appealing features and the promise of Android 15, based on the performance we encountered, I wouldn't necessarily suggest using this particular build of the Derpfest ROM for your daily driver on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. The lag significantly impacts the overall user experience. So, that's our detailed review of the Derpfest Android 15 ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. What are your thoughts? Have you tried this ROM? Let us know your experiences in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more in-depth ROM reviews and tech-related content. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.